see my PowerPoint. Dan yep. is my PowerPoint. We got okay, it. excellent. We got it. Yep. All right, so thanks for that introduction, Dan. I am here to present on career pathways at SeaTac Airport. Uh, my name is EJ Bravo, and I am the career development supervisor at Airport Jobs, which is a program of port jobs. You, you may hear me um, use those two company names interchangeably, Airport Jobs and Port Jobs. Um, just to let you know who we are and what we do, we are a nonprofit employment center based out of SeaTac Airport, as Dan said. I've been working with the organization since June of last year. Uh, so I started during like peak COVID. Um, so I've been here about a year so far. Prior to this, I was I spent three years with a professional services firm Deloitte, and then I, prior to that, six years uh, in youth development at the Matt Griffin YMCA over in SeaTac. All right. So how many people and how much cargo flew through SeaTac Airport in 2019? Does anybody want to guess? No, I know you probably take you a while to guess, but um, <laughs> we yeah. we need at least multiple choice. Yeah, um, I know. I, I totally know what you mean. I I I'd have no idea where to start either. But fifty two million people, seven hundred billion. <laughs> yeah. So I, I the answer is up there now. It's fifty two million people came and went through SeaTac in twenty nineteen. And why do I use twenty nineteen? Because obviously last year was a down year throughout every industry throughout the world. Um. So twenty nineteen was more or less a normal at SeaTac Airport. So 52 million people came and went uh, through SeaTac. And just to put that into perspective, if you attended a Seahawks game, a max capacity Seahawks game, that's about 70,000 people. Um, multiply that times 742 and you'd have an idea of how many people moved through SeaTac in 2019. How much cargo came and went through the airport? 453,000 metric tons of cargo uh, came and went. So that's a a lot. All those packages that you see in front of your house and on your neighbor's porches, chances are that came through SeaTac. Passenger traffic is rising again after heavily impacted in 2020. Airports aren't going away. They'll be here in 25 years, 50 years, 100 years. I'm sure they'll evolve, but they'll still be here for a long time. And as Dan mentioned, um, summer's coming up. All these COVID restrictions are lifting, so employers are scrambling uh, for job. I mean, for uh, for people to work for them. And I'm about to let you know about a lot of those companies. Uh, so what kinds of jobs are at SeaTac Airport? So for those of you who've been to an airport, you know that an airport is a lot like a small city. I like to think of it this way. If the apocalypse happened and you were safe um, inside of an airport, you'd have everything that you need to survive for a while. And on top of that, you'd have a lot of fun too. So let's talk about the jobs that are available. You can be a ramp agent. These are the fellows that you see uh, unloading and loading up planes of their cargo and luggages. And then you see them driving vehicles around the tarmac too. Passenger service agents. So for those of you who've flown, when you arrive at the airport, you need to check in for your flight. And then also if you're bringing a luggage too, you need to hand that off to somebody. Um, these are the people who help you out with everything. And then when you get to your gate too, uh, before you board your plane, the passenger service agents help keep order um, and they're there to answer any questions that you might have. Hey, EJ. Yeah. Your, mm -hmm. um, your volume is kind of going in and out, going low to high. It might be your, it might be your uh, headphones. Oh. Just, it's just automatically you're going from low volume and then you go to regular volume and it keeps going back and forth. Oh, has just, it been, has it been constantly like that? Yeah, it's been consistent. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm going to try to plug it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to unplug my earbuds, see if that works. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay. I can't hear. <laughs> Let's oh, no. The settings. EJ, can you hear us? Sorry to, sorry, I just. No, you're good. Yeah. Uh, can, I you, can you, you I can hear me hear now. You now? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So let me resume this. All right. So um, I spoke about passenger service agents. Uh, Dan, just let me know if there's any issues again. Um, right. You can be a wheelchair agent too. So some passengers need help getting around the airport. The wheelchair agents uh, assist with that. Food service and restaurants, I'm sure a number of you um, 
watching this right now have worked in food service, it's a lot more complicated than you think. You, your burger just doesn't magically appear. So you have your host or your hostess, your waiter or your waitress, bartenders, administration, management, you have your cooks. Um, so much goes in to making restaurants successful. Um, and the thing about this too, is that not only is there a large uh, quantity of jobs, but there's also a variety and they tend to hire young too. For example, Subway, uh, there's a Subway that's opening up at the airport in July, and they reached out to us earlier today. They are hiring as low as 16 years old. So that's something to keep in mind. Hmm. Air cargo. I mentioned the 453,000 metric tons of cargo that came and went through SeaTac Airport, and I mentioned all the packages that you see in front of uh, people's houses. People need to sort through that. Um, people are needed to screen those packages to make sure that's what, that what's coming in and going out is not only safe but legal. Um, just yesterday, our partners at ACTS Aviation Security, they reached out to us and they were like, hey, we're looking for young people, um, I think 18, 18 years or older, to do cargo screener jobs. So there's always tons of jobs available in this uh, profession. Cabin cleaner. After a plane spends several hours in the, in the air, when it lands, it is not clean. Um, so you have garbage, dust accumulating everywhere, uh, tray tables tend to get dirty, and people need to clean that out. So that's what the cabin cleaners do. When the plane lands, uh, the cabin cleaners board the plane as soon as everyone is off. Sometimes they even board the plane when people are still getting off. I've seen that firsthand. Um, you'll see them just holding their garbage bags and stuffing it and making sure the plane is neat and good to go for the next group of people that board retail sales associate. So there are dozens of retailers around SeaTac Airport, Hudson News being one of them. There are a ton of Hudson News locations um, at the airport. And just a few weeks ago, I know that they, Hudson in particular was looking for at least a couple dozen employees and they'll be looking for people as the summer progresses. So that's just one retailer. You can only imagine how many other opportunities are available. Check my time here, okay. Fuelers. Um, when a plane lands that, I mean, planes eat up so much fuel and uh, the primary employer of fuelers at the airport is a company called Swissport. They are always reaching out to us probably every other week saying, hey, we need fuelers. So always opportunities in this profession. Security officers, uh, this is a big one. So SeaTac Airport has five security checkpoints. On a busy day, they will have all five checkpoints open and each uh, checkpoint takes dozens of security officers to make sure that it's fully functional. So that's hundreds of people on the clock at one time um, on a day when it's really busy. And I'll tell you what, it's really busy at the airport. Um, we haven't seen things at this level since pre-COVID and it's only gonna get busier. So um, TSA, uh, Travel Security Agency is so desperate for people right now that they are offering $1,000 sign-on bonuses um, and extra incentive. The training for this, I think it's like a one or two week training. They send you to Vegas to train. So you can have some fun while you're working, while you're learning. What is uh, what is TSA? Yeah, so that is the, uh, the organization that actually runs all the security checkpoints at SeaTac Airport. And in fact, I believe that they run all the security checkpoints in every airport in America. All right, flight attendant and pilot. The flight attendants these are the people who provide customer service once the plane is in the air. And being a pilot takes a lot of training, uh, takes a lot of schooling, but it, it is a very lucrative career. So it's not exactly entry level. There's a lot that you need to do to, do to get there. But once you have that position, it's pretty secure and it's well paying. And aircraft mechanic, this is near and dear to our hearts at uh, airport jobs. Actually just last quarter through our airport university program, which I will speak more about in a little bit. We offered an introduction to aviation maintenance technology course um, in partnership with South Seattle. And uh, I gotta tell you, so a lot of the aircraft mechanics are set to retire en masse within the next few years. They're calling it the silver wave. So when all of them retire, there's gonna be tons of openings available. And the way it looks right now, there's gonna be a severe shortage of aircraft mechanics. So if you're willing to go through a couple of years of school and you'll have to work hard, I think it's eight hours a day for for two years for this program, um, you will have a very good career ahead of you.
About jobs that they report. So I know I haven't mentioned salary or wage or anything like that. Most jobs pay sixteen fifty seven or more an hour. It'll obviously range based on the your experience and the job that you get. Um, many jobs require a high school diploma or a GED. Some companies will hire at 16 or 17, as I mentioned, Subway will, but most require that you are 18 or older. Some jobs, like uh, if you're working uh, as a ramp agent, you need a driver's license. Most jobs require a background check. Uh, so just wanted to let you know about that. Masks are still required by law at the airport. I know that you can go to Target or the gym and masks aren't, uh, near, aren't required anymore, but they are required at SeaTac Airport. Sorry. Um, how to job search at the airport. We can help. That's what Airport Jobs does. Um, so we have this a list that we maintain called a jobs hot list. All these employers reach out to us and they let us know what positions are available. And we're updating this list. If not daily, then we're doing it for sure at least a couple times a week. Um, there's probably currently at least 150 jobs on there. So those are all out there for you to apply for. Um, you can learn about hiring events. We frequently host open interviews at our and we're beginning to do that again after taking nearly a year off from that. Um, actually, yeah, we, we took a year off from hosting open interviews. Um, you can get help creating a resume. We do that for free. That's actually something that I do. Free college classes through our airport university program. And we are partnered with Alaska Airlines to offer scholarships. And you can meet with us. Our office is currently closed, but we can meet with you through, through phone, Zoom, or in person by appointment. And here's a job hotlist that I was talking about. Uh, I'm not going to go too in-depth but you can see this is just one page. Some of the information that we include is company, position, location, hours, shift, salary, the application process, and then some other information such as how old you need to be, how many positions are available, if you need a driver's license, so on and so forth. I'd encourage you to visit our website, www.portjobs.org, where you can see our jobs hot list, uh, see employer hiring events. I know I mentioned this earlier, but all this can be found on our website as well. Uh, education and scholarship opportunities and then resources and other events and you can reach out to me there's my email bravo.e at portseattle.org and then also my phone number is 206-787-5997 all right that's all i have uh, hey uh ej would you drop that in the chat you're yeah, a for sure info, please uh, and while he's doing that, any um, other any questions um, from anyone on the line, whether you, know, you take yourself off mute or put it in the chat. While we wait for any other questions, I'll ask one. So to, to, to try to get an understanding of this, so if you get a job through uh, uh, through airport jobs or mm -hmm. port jobs, you're not an airport jobs employee you are an employee of whatever uh wh whatever company that that you've applied for so yeah. airport jobs is a sort of agency that connects uh, employee or uh, uh, job seekers to the employers is that yeah is yeah so answer? say you apply for a job at um, hudson as i mentioned earlier um you can find out about it through us we can even help you throughout the process of applying and make sure that you're prepared for that job interview and the hiring process but once you're on their payroll, uh, you're a Hudson employee. So, yeah, of course, we'll keep in touch with you. We may, we may see you around the airport, but no, you, you work for the company that you apply for. Thank you for that, Patrick. Anything else? Uh, can you please repeat the, the, the waves? Like, uh, what is the low payment for 16 and yeah, like so, the average for our kids? looking for work yeah so most airport in fact i think that the lowest wage that you'll find at the airport right now is 16.57 an hour um so every single company will pay at least that amount but of course it varies depending on the actual job and your experience you're Thank yeah you're 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 posting positions on every level of mm -hmm. training and and yep. experience yeah But I, I feel like you just recently had an, uh, uh, an in-person job, Vera. Am I incorrect about that? Did you? So uh, a, 
we haven't had an in-person job fair. We're Not doing, we're hosting interviews um, and we have had health and in, health insurance enrollment fairs in partnership with King County Health. But uh, in terms of like the, the job fairs, we haven't had an in-person one in a while. Oh, okay. Any kind mm -hmm. of event in the planning for the immediate future? Uh, nothing yet, but nothing? Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll keep, uh, I, yeah, for sure. I mean, I get emails. So yeah. We'll All right. 